Hi, and welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. Uh, today's tutorial, guys, is going to be on a Dell Inspiron N4010. That's this computer here. And what we're going to be doing to this is we will be, or I'll be showing you guys how to swap out the screen. So, if you've cracked the LCD screen, or in this case the LED, if you've cracked, if you've cracked the screen, um, you would pretty much be able to tell just by holding it at an angle you'd see the crack going down the screen. Also by turning it on you'd see it's with a black crack going through the top, through the bottom, or through each corners, or you know, it's pretty noticeable when you've seen that. And I'm assuming you've already done the diagnostic or the diagnosis and you've come to uh, come through a process of elimination to determine that it is in fact the screen and not a, a different component like for instance the inverter, the cable assembly, the GPU or anything else. Um, so let's begin. The first thing I'm going to say for you guys to do is we're going to pop off this little protector. Uh, this is the front screen bezel and the way we're going to pop that off is I'm going to be using a tool called iSesmo. Let's see if I can get that for you guys there. This tool is amazing. I mean, probably the best $10 I've spent on any tool, but as you can see, I've had a lot of use out of it. Um, I use it for almost every repair, and it just makes my job so much easier. So, we open the Dell Inspiron N4010. I'm going to start off by just taking the dull edge of my iSesmo pry tool, pop it in, pop it off. Look at that, so simple. I mean, it is just amazing how easy this thing makes it. So all I'm doing is just running this gently. As soon as I pop it or stick it in a little crevice, I'll just gently pop out. Don't be rough with it because then you're going to break something and then you have to order a front screen bezel and even though those parts aren't expensive, you just don't want to have to deal with it, you know. Here's the front bezel, that easy. I mean, on this particular model Dell, they made it extremely simple to replace the LCD screen. I mean, you can literally do this, guys, in like 10 minutes tops if you have the part. So here is the LCD screen. When I got mine, or when I, when I, when I did the repair on this one, I noticed that there was some tape right here at the bottom. So if you notice here at the bottom, get a better picture for you guys. If you notice here at the bottom, that it's a little difficult to remove the screen or the screen bezel, it's because of that tape. So, I mean, you'll hear it as you put your pry tool on there. You'll actually hear it peeling off, and that's why it was a little difficult to remove it there. But there are no screws. Very simple. All you want to do is just pop it off. Once it's off, it's gone. Put that aside. Put our isosmo there to the corner. Here's the fun part. Now, we're going to remove approximately, what, three, what is it, six, seven, eight total screws to get rid of this screen. And the screws are located just right here on the corners. So you'll see there's three screws, three screws, one, and one. So, We're going to start off by removing the screws here on the right. You can do it however you want. I'll leave that up to you. These screws here on the bottom are the same screws. So I'm going to just pile those off to the side here. All right. You might want to hold this back now just um, for support. You don't want it falling over or something. Alright, I've got the top screws now. Now all I should do is, there it is. How simple is that? Here's our cable assembly. All you want to do from this point is peel off the tape of the cable assembly, unplug the cable, there it is. Here's your screen. Your hinges are attached, I'm sorry, the support part of the hinge, not the actual hinge, but uh, one of the parts that make up keeping the screen in place is attached to the screen, and you can see that here. You just remove those screws, 
on each side of the screen and you will be able to now order the screen. Now the part you want to order is right here. This is the part number. I'm going to try and get a decent view for you guys. Part number here would be located right here and it starts with an LT. LTN dot 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 dot. But again it is right here for the screen. Now be careful you want to make sure you do order the same part. You don't want to order the wrong part because then you're going to have to wait another what? Uh, five, ten days, whoever's shipping it for you. Part comes in. Let's pretend I just got the part in. Part comes in. Here's the new part. Take it out of the packaging. You're going to plug, I'm sorry, screw these side support panels back on there. I'm not sure in the exact technical name, but you're going to screw them back on there. One, two, three. Flip the screen over. One, two, three. Screw those back on there. Place the screen very gently. Uh, face forward or face down, I'm sorry. Um, what I'm going to do now is carefully align these bottom hinges here. Plug in my cable assembly. And again, being very gentle, I don't want to break anything. These are not cheap. And if you're doing your own repairs, I'm assuming I'm going to get my head out of the screen there. You don't want to spend any more money on another screen. So, it plugs right in. Put the tape back down. Again, lining these hinges here. Lift this back up for some support. I'm going to get all of this back where it's supposed to be. There it is. I'm just aligning the screws. And I can pretty much tell just based on this where they go. Alright, now I'm going to be putting the screws back on and just screwing the top ones on first makes more sense to me. You can do it. Start from the bottom if you want. Personally, I'm going to just do it from the top. I'm already doing it now. This is probably the easiest way for me, but there's no particular way on how to do this. There we go. Let's get these bottom screws in. Coming just rotating on each side. There we go. Start feeling it get a little more support. Alright, I have maybe two more screws after this to plug in. And really, I, I wasn't lying. If you do have the part, you're talking about maybe 10 minutes here. If you know what you're doing and if you've done this several times in the past. Of course, we've gone through the teardown manuals and we know how these guys break apart because we've done probably, I don't know, tens of them now, a lot of them. But once you do one, I mean, you pretty much know how to do the rest. Okay, I'm also going to wipe this screen down. I just don't want to have my... I mean, you can use whatever you'd like. If you have a fancy cloth or something, you can use that. I have just a little small piece, little cloth here, so I don't scratch the actual screen. You can buy something specifically for glass. It's up to you. That's what this is. Okay, now I'm going to put the bezel back on. And the way this is going to go on is top first. You want to make sure that the webcam lines up. You'll start hearing it snap in place. And you want to make sure you get it all in there. Don't push too hard. You don't want to crack the screen. You don't want to break the bezel, but it definitely snaps in. Remember we had a fun time taking it off, so we know how it goes on. We know how it needs to go. We know how it comes off. We know how it needs to go back on. 
And I'm just going to snap these little corners in too. And that's it. I mean, we have done a screen replacement on a Dell Inspiron N4010. I've shown you guys how to successfully identify that it is actually the screen. Um, through process of elimination, you want to make sure that it's not the cable assembly, the inverter, um, the GPU. But once you've identified that the actual problem is, in fact, the screen, that's when you order you, you, you remove your part by first removing the bezel, you uh, front bezel, you then remove the screen. You order your screen online using that part I showed you guys. Once your screen comes in, you put the screen back in where it's supposed to be, plug it in. Of course, the battery's not supposed to be inside the computer. Don't have it plugged in or anything ridiculous like that. Um, then you just plug in the power and see if it works. Um, thanks again for watching another one of my tutorials. I hope I didn't bore you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comment section of youtube.com forward slash IT conflict. Our website is www.itconflict.com. Check out our blog on there, guys. Um, come by and check out our Facebook page, too. Come just say hi. Let us know you've seen one of our videos. And if you have any questions, you can ask them there as well. That's facebook.com forward slash IT conflict. And follow us on Twitter. That is twitter.com forward slash IT conflict. Again, my name is Eric with IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. Thanks again for watching another one of my videos.